Among those spending part of their Christmas away from family, local meteorologists. The team at the National Weather Service's Fort Worth office is busy prepping for tomorrow's chance for strong storms. Fox 4's Blake Hansen is in downtown Dallas tonight with more on that. Blake. Yeah, Brandon, for police, fire, EMS, careers where people's lives literally depend on you, the office really is never closed. The same goes for the local National Weather Service office, which is working to keep people safe on what tomorrow is bound to be a busy travel day. In most North Texas communities, Christmas was a day of relaxation, peace, and calm, apart from the requisite test rides of toys. Timeline for the threats as well, perhaps. Contrast that to the community inside the National Weather Service Fort Worth office, where there are no days off, especially with the potential for strong storms on the horizon. Sure, yeah. It is tough sometimes to, to be away from family for, for a few hours or, or friends, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a service that we're all motivated to provide. The strong weather forecast for Wednesday has a potential to shake up North Texans' plans. The day after Christmas is always a busy travel day, both by air and on the road. The National Weather Service, per usual, has folks on call for extra hands if the weather gets bad. And they are doing it all right now with no guarantee of an on-time paycheck, one of many agencies affected by the federal government shutdown. Matrix is out. For this team of meteorologists that's spending part of the holiday doing what they love. Sure, yeah. The gift is in the journey. You know, we signed up for this and we know we'll be we, we'll be working different hours, uh, evenings, nights. It's actually not bad working on Christmas. Um, you know, for, for us, we, we work for eight hours and you have 16 hours to go and have time with your family and sleep a little. And it wasn't too long ago that that office was very busy right around the same time of year, Christmas 2015, uh, when there were tornadoes in North Texas. And while these two storm systems are setting up very differently, it is a reminder that severe weather does not discriminate based on the calendar. Brandon. All right, Blake Hansen, live in downtown Dallas tonight. Thanks.